A woman is in the hospital after her camper caught fire when she reportedly fell asleep while smoking this evening. According to Battalion Chief Dan Merritt of Missoula Rural Fire, they responded to the call of a camper fire around 5 o'clock with flames reaching about 12 feet in the air. A man, a woman, and a dog were in the trailer at the time. The camper is a total loss, but no nearby structures were threatened. The man did cut his leg while assisting the other two out of the trailer, but he didn't need to go to the hospital. A 35-year-old woman who was sleeping in camper reported to have sustained possible smoke exposure. She was taken to the hospital. A combined response from Missoula Emergency Services, East Missoula Fire, and Missoula Rural was able to put the fire out by about six. While initial reports say the cigarette was the cause of the fire, the case does remain under investigation tonight. One person in custody after leading police on a pursuit this evening. The Missoula County Sheriff's Office tells us that deputies attempted to make a traffic stop in East Missoula around 5.30 p.m. The driver of that car would not slow down and police began a chase shortly after. The car headed up Highway 200 to Highway 10 and then to Kramer Creek where it eventually came to a stop because of a flat tire. The individual was arrested without incident. Missoula County public school leaders say the new Jeanette Rankin Elementary will open in just over two weeks. However, the move from Cold Springs is happening quickly and any formal opening will be delayed until teachers and students are settled in. Missoula County Public School Superintendent Mark Thane tells me the last day of classes will be Wednesday, November 7th at Cold Springs. That's a building being replaced by Rankin Elementary, the only entirely new school being constructed under the Smart Schools bond. Thane says the November 7th target for closing Cold Springs will allow teachers and staff to take advantage of a two-day window for parent-teacher conferences that Thursday and Friday. With students out of class, teachers will spend Thursday putting the finishing touches on the new rooms. Then they'll welcome students on Monday, November 12th. Contractors working hard now to get the new building wrapped up. Thane says because of the tight turnaround, the school won't have a formal ribbon cutting or open house right away, but will plan to have after classes are running at Rankin Elementary. Tonight was the deadline for University of Montana academic departments to finalize their plans to cut $5